Kia ora koutou. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the New Zealand Par Public Party or Advance New Zealand. Now, the leader of Advance New Zealand, uh, Billy TK, I believe that, in my opinion, that voting for this political party is basically a, a waste of your time. Now, here's my reasoning. Now, if you're to do the numbers uh, in MMP system, uh, you have to reach 5% of the electoral vote in the party vote system. So, so approximately to reach that amount, you would need to get in the range of 100,000 to 120,000 in the uh, party vote. And so at the moment on uh, the NZPP or Vance New Zealand uh, Facebook page, they have a range of approximately 18,000 people that follow that Facebook page. Whereas if you take the Greens Facebook page, they have 120,000 people follow their Facebook page. So they have a, a much larger audience to appeal to, and therefore it's more than likely, and in polling, they're making, they're actually making that 5% uh, margin of error to send, you know, five, six MPs into Parliament. So it's highly unlikely that um, Billy is going to make it into Parliament. They just don't have the numbers or the mass appeal. Uh, he has used social media very well and and good on him, but he just does not have a following that would permit him to make it back in well into Parliament at all. So. One of the issues that I have with uh, Billy Takahika is the disinformation that he's putting out there. So for example, a lot of the information that he is spreading is actually propaganda and it comes from white supremacist alt-right um, information. and. Billy has managed to indoctrinate a lot of our people into believing into in these conspiracy theories. So one of the conspiracy theories that uh, Billy has put out there is that he believes that um, Bill Gates, who's recently become a boogeyman uh, amongst conspiracy theorists for some unknown reason, he's made the claim that the Gates Foundation is been putting out a vaccine in third world countries in India and Africa and what these vaccines do is they they euthanize people or they're trying uh, a program of eugenics where they're trying to exterminate people uh, or they're trying to sterilize women so I did a bit of a, a research into this and actually found out that none of it was based on any evidence. And so what I did is I went to look for the source of that information and actually found out that it comes from uh, a woman called Candace Owens. Now, let me explain to you who Candace Owens is. Candace Owens is an African-American who actually uh, believes that African-American people would be better off back in slavery. She plays down um, the civil rights movement um, and really is advocating for white supremacy. She's a tool of white supremacy and she gets paid very well to be a sellout. Um, she's what I would call uh, a kupapa. And so... Billy is getting this disinformation and he's bringing it here to Aotearoa and he's starting to spread this disinformation. And I think the people that are believing the disinformation and propaganda and getting indoctrinated by his information 
should try to fact check uh, anything that has been said to you on Facebook that just doesn't sound right. Like there's a red card. So for example, if someone was telling me that a private organization was going out there and it was it was killing people and trying to euthanize them and 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 then government stopped them, I would go and check that to see if it was legitimate information, which I did. And I found out that there was a report run by the Indian government and it actually came out that people were not dying at all and it was all disinformation and, and the government had run reports. And the Gates Foundation was actually genuine. They were trying to vaccinate people against the HPV virus, which causes a, in the range of 60,000 women in India per year die from this. So the Gates Foundation, their, their motives are genuinely uh, kind and they're not actually out there to exterminate people and do you do plans of eugenics where they exterminate people of colour and that, that's basically, basically the propaganda and disinformation that's coming out from alt-right um, alt -right white supremacist groups that we need to really challenge. So what I've started doing is in social media, if I see someone who's spreading disinformation, I help give them guidance by fact checking the information that they're putting out there so that they actually get challenged uh, to prevent more people being sucked down into the rabbit hole so it's important that we don't make the first instinct that we have when we see disinformation is to block that person and ignore them and block them. That we go in there and we, we give them the tools to, to see through this in a rational way and to help them fact check the information that they're receiving because this is just not happening. And a lot of our people are being sucked into propaganda and they're becoming indoctrinated that the all of society is evil and that the colonial government has got some sinister plan that it's being controlled by some lizard illuminati and that's just not the case the the human race and multiple different governments aren't controlled by some evil sinister organization um, controlled by you know the Rothschilds and all these various families because the facts are is that humanity is just too chaotic to be controlled by any overall evil um, sinister organization and it's really kind of far-fetched and also another conspiracy that they reach out for to cover all of the conspiracies is that the mainstream media sources are controlled by this evil sinister organization so that helps them cover it with fake news anything they don't like to hear is just fake news and that and that's a real insult to journalists all over the world who make it their career to expose uh, corruption and and to find out where our society is failing those who are less vulnerable who are more vulnerable and and to come up with this conspiracy that that the mainstream media is controlled and thousands of journalists are on the payroll of some evil organization that's just batshit crazy and so we need to pick apart these conspiracy theories and really talk to the people that are generating and falling into this propaganda and especially those who are real indoctrinated into it, that the world is not as um, as sinister as they as they think. Although um, indigenous people have been attacked by colonial governments, and they've been abused, and there is a lot of abuse of indigenous people and and law enforcement uh, and the criminal justice system, and they're being locked up, but. Those are different issues that you need to focus on individually. 
but to pretend that there is a sinister kind of organization that is controlling world governments to oppress us um well you want to have something that's more substantial and fact check that information yeah so so i'll leave you with that uh yeah and it's important that we do go out and we start to debunk propaganda and lies and do a lot more fact checking of any information that comes through to you that you think that has that raises a red flag as soon as i see any information that kind of just doesn't seem right there's something something smells fishy about it i'll fact check it always because i don't want to get duped i don't want to be looking stupid on the internet with silly conspiracy theories that are just going to make me look like um i'm not that very intelligent so kia ora, thank you for joining me